Muslims, like Christians and Jews, consider themselves spiritual descendants of Abraham. 1.5 billion people in this world are Muslims. 250 million of them are Arabs, and over 1.2 billion are non-Arabs. There are Chinese Muslims, European Muslims, American Muslims, Latino Muslims. One out of every five people in this world is a Muslim, which is enough reason to learn about Islam. It is important to realize that Islam is not just a religion, but it is a complete comprehensive way of life. It's not something that we only do on Fridays, but it carries over into our workplace, our families, our communities, and our friends. Linguistically, in the Arabic language, the word Islam comes from the root word Salama. And from this root, you can have three different words with three different meanings. The first one is submission, the second one is purity, and the third one is peace. Submission, purity, and peace. Surprisingly, the word Islam Islamically carries those three meanings. The word Islam Islamically means that if any person fully submits himself or herself to the will of God and worships God purely without any association with God, worships God alone, he or she should live in peace and harmony in this life and in the hereafter. So the word Muslim in the Arabic language doesn't mean literally a follower of Prophet Muhammad. The word Muslim literally means someone who submits to the will of God and worships God alone. Muslims feel they are in harmony with the universe because the Quran mentioned several times that everything around them is submitting to the law of God and worshiping Him, while they are also worshiping and submitting to God. Do you not see that Allah is the one who is praised by all those who are in the heavens and in the earth? The very birds praise Him as they wing their flight. Each one knows its prayers and how to praise him, and Allah has full knowledge of all their actions. The Quran stresses on the point of living in a worshiping universe, wherein every single being worships God in its own way, which may not be comprehended by man. The Quran says, The seven heavens the earth and all beings therein declare his glory. There is not a single thing that glorifies him with his praise, but you do not comprehend their hymns of his glory. These verses become very inspiring for me when I hear the birds twittering early morning or at sunset. I say, oh my God, can this be their two prescribed times of prayer? Or when I go to the lake and I see the duck swimming in a V shape like that, I say, can this be a congregation prayer that they do? And this duck in the front, can it be the Imam duck? I look at the creation, like musicians in a concert. Each one is playing one instrument, but at the end, all of them are contributing to the same tune. The universe is in harmony.